Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Maybelline Dream Mousse whatever line. You know, the Dream Mousse foundation, the Dream Mousse concealer, the Dream Mousse blush. Um, just a whole review on that whole Dream Mousse concept that they came out with. So, um, the first thing I'm going to start off with, and this is one of the newest ones that Maybelline came out with. It's the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse. It's a foundation. And they just recently came out with this. And it's different from the Dream Matte Mousse Foundation because that one was very matte and, you know, on your face. And this one is a little bit more dewy and fresh looking. And um, I like it better. I didn't try the Dream Matte Mousse, um, but I, I've heard not really that many great things about it. So it looks like this. And then you open it up from, you know, the top and you get a little sponge, which I don't really recommend using unless you clean it a lot. And then you get your product, which comes in like that petri jar, I think it's called. And you know, you do the science things. Um, and you don't really get a lot of product. That's how wide, thick it is. And then the top looks like that. Um, and what the brush that I used for this, um, I used to use a cosmetic wedge. It just doesn't look that great. Um, I definitely recommend using a stippling brush. This is the Sigma SS188 stippling brush. Um, I really like this brush brush for applying this foundation because it's small enough where you can get into here because this isn't very that big and the other one is a lot bigger and it's just harder to get your brush in there and also you can get into the corners of your face better with this brush and um, I just like it better than the bigger stippling brush that they have so I definitely recommend using a stippling brush for that foundation but um, I really like this foundation. I thought it wasn't going to work that great for me because I do have oily skin and this is more formulated for like dry to normal skin and um, but it still lasts very long in me. I'm not going to say it lasts all day because it doesn't. I would say if I put it on at like 12 o'clock it would probably start looking bad around 6. So 6 hours it definitely looks good. I'm not going to say it's full coverage. It's about medium coverage. Um, you can build it up if you want more coverage, but it's definitely not a full coverage, but it's still an awesome foundation. I really like it. It's a good foundation, and it's super cheap. I think it's sort of more pricey. depends on where you get it. Um, where I got it, it was like $9 at Walgreens. So it's around like 7 or $9, but you know, depending on where you get it. So I definitely recommend this. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer. And I've had this for a while, actually. I've had this for quite some time. Um, the color doesn't really match me that great. It's a little too light for me. Um, it's light zero through one. And um, mine's almost gone, but I've had it for forever. Looks like that. And this is very, very thick concealer. Um, I'll kind of get some on my finger. Mainly, it's just very thick and it covers good. Um, the only thing is that it does crease. Um, I'm going to say like 10 minutes after I put it on, it's already creased. So, I use it because it covers good, but it creases, which sucks. Um, the thing that I notice that helps it stay a little bit longer is if I use um, my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion under my eye. I do that with all my concealers. It does help it last a little longer, but I don't do that every day. So if I don't use the primer, it will crease in like 10 minutes, which, you know, sucks. Um, so this is a very, very thick concealer. I would not recommend this to someone who does not need full coverage. I mean, this is a pretty full coverage foundation. I mean, not foundation, concealer. Um, it's like medium to full. can look cakey. The thing that I do, how I apply it, is I use um, the Travel Size Sigma SS224. It's like a blending brush, but I use it. I take um, Evian Facial Spray, and I'll just spritz it onto my, um, I'll just spritz it onto the brush, tap off, you know, some of the excess water, and then just dip the brush in there and, you know, go under my eye with it. And I think applying the um, Evian spray makes it not as cakey and not cake up as much and not look so thick under the eye. Um, other things, you could use a spray bottle of water if you don't have this. Yeah, that's how I apply it. And um, 
this thing will last you forever like literally I've had this for so long and um, I still have so much left so it will last you a long time because you do not need a lot of it at all because it's so thick so yeah I definitely would recommend this to someone who needs sort of medium to full coverage um, but if they don't need that definitely get something that's not as you know thick um, the next thing I'm going to talk about, and I don't know if Maybelline still has this, I really don't think they do, um, but it's the limited edition um, Dream Mousse Shimmer. And I got this at Ocean State Job Lot, and um, it's basically like a moussey highlighter. And it's in Ethereal Ivory, and it's like a really, it's just like a white highlighter, so I'll kind of get some on my finger. It's pretty. I like to use it as a base for if I use a powder highlighter. I'll put this on first. And I really like this. Um, I like it a lot actually. It was really cheap. Um, the only thing is that I don't think they have this anymore because it's the old packaging. Because if you look at the word dream on it, this one's the old one. You can see that it's old packaging. So I don't think they make these anymore because it is limited edition. But if you can still find it somewhere, um, I would definitely go get it because it's awesome. The thing I wanted to talk about is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush. And they have a lot of different colors of these. Um, the one I have is number 20 Peach Satin. And I've used quite a bit of this. Um, these are very sheer and they're very sparkly and shimmery. Um, I'll kind of get some on my finger. Oops, that's way too much. So it looks like that. If you can see, I'll put it right here. But it's very sheer, and you do have to blend it out. And if you blend it too much, it will disappear. So don't blend it too much. It just gives you like a nice sort of um, pinky glow to your cheeks, which is really pretty. They're very light, so I would you know tend to get a more darker color if you want it to show up more but for what I like to use this for is I like it to use it as a base for if I use a powder blush because it makes my blush last a lot longer um I like the feeling of all their mousse stuff I think it feels so cool um but I definitely like these um if you have like acne or breakouts on your cheeks definitely don't use something that has shimmer in it because it's just going to accentuate um if you have large pores all that so um but it's just nice to have i guess if you want that little glow to your cheeks it's really pretty um so yeah i really like this a lot all right guys so that's pretty much all i have to say about all of the dream mousse stuff um there's still some other things from that not from that line that i want to try out um so yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video bye